hey, and welcome to Tea Club Full Time with me, Jay Binet. Once again, the producers have left me out of the studio, and I'm out on the street in beautiful, sunny Edinburgh. My good friend John here at the gorgeous Balmoral Hotel in Edinburgh. And we've got a very special interview today with someone who has got the most amazing career you're about to learn about, Mr. Ian Reddington. Freezing cold Edinburgh. Good morning, Ian. Yeah? So, uh, we're here joined with Ian Reddington, aka Pop. Uh, and most people will probably know him best from uh, the UK's two most loved soaps, Coronation Street and EastEnders. He's also worked with some of the world's most credible theatre companies. Um, but now, finally, he's working in some proper drama. Some nice. Incredible theatre, hard-hitting entertainment, we will rock you. How does that feel, Ian? So it is fantastic. It's, it is bang on entertainment just <laughs> every night. When, when, they, when they first asked me to do it, they said, why, why would you want to do it? And I think I said, if, if I was going to have a, a party every night, I may as well have one on stage. Exactly. That's With like. people who know how to party. Well, exactly. absolutely know how to party. <laughs> I, I've not tried to compete with them on that level. Really? No, really? I'm, too, I'm beyond that. <laughs> I think actually one, um, one review uh, that we found on uh, Wikipedia actually said that this was your best acting in years, Ian. How, how do you take that? I think they haven't seen me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> They've clearly <laughs> missed me for at least the, 20 the years. Like is, this is your best acting since the, less, since the last best acting. <laughs> yeah. sort of Which was your last job. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it, 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 it's... It's, listen, we do what we do, and people either like it and get it, or, or they don't. But the, the best thing about this is you, you're allowed to do whatever, whatever you want. Which yeah, is, exactly. Which, I, I, which I, you do. I, 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 you I, do. I managed to be a little people bit mad in help. this, which is great. D a little bit mad in this. You're yeah. mad in life. And yeah. a little bit of, and a little bit of warbling as well. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not a singer. Really? I've been saying that for really? years. Really? I am not. Don't a fancy singer. quick uh, tune by the fire. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, that was beautiful, that was beautiful. No, listen, I'm not a singer. I keep telling people I'm an actor that sings. Right, OK. What about an actor that sings and dances? I mean, no, no. you've got a few steps in here. No, mate, the moves. I'm not throwing any moves in this, James. The knees, alas, yeah. are not what they The knees are be. starting to die, aren't they? They're <laughs> oh, yeah. starting to go. Oh, yeah. It's all that uh, building your own house on your knees, probably. Building Doing a house, that, listen, that didn't, that didn't help at all, and too much sport when I was younger. And I mean sport in the real sense. Sport in the <laughs> Not water literal, sport, sorry. No, literally, like that. sport as in athletics and football. <laughs> Just to clear that one up. Right, OK, good, cleared, good. Surely the people you meet in musicals are more fun than the boring straight actors. They are, yeah, they are fantastic. <laughs> yes. They know how to party. We but do. I, but I tell you what, I think that comes from the amount of work they have to do. Yeah. I mean, I, listen, let me put on record, I think it's some of the hardest working people I've ever met are the ones that are doing the musical theatre, all those ensemble actors, it's an incredible amount of work. It's true, they hold the show together, they do the most. I mean, you're on stage for what, 2.5 minutes? <laughs> Something like that. It's, it's slightly longer than that, but yeah, <laughs> I am performing what is called a guest, it's called a guest role. Oh, right, guest appearance. Well, right, I mean, the man after telly it appears. Um, <laughs> We don't get to that stage where you get that round of applause before you've even said a word. Although last night a person did go <laughs> before I spoke. Just the one. Just the Just one. The and one, I think yeah. they looked round and thought, listen, it's not one of those. No, no this is no, the wrong no, no, part. Yeah. No, it is, it's been fantastic. Oh, good, good. And we're, we're nearly finished now. So, what's next for Ian Reddington? Uh, I, have, I don't think I have ever gone straight from one job to another. Uh, so, when I finish. In January, I shall be between dreams. 
Amazing. Beautifully said. I, I am now going to call it. I'm never going to say resting. I am now going to say... I'm taking that. That is in dreams. my pocket. Between I, dreams. I am now putting it down as well. It's mine. <laughs> Because you're, you're building your own house, aren't you? I've built That's it. Like, oh, it's, it's all done? It's all, it's all done, yeah. i built, me and the missus built it. Amazing. So we converted a barn into a, into a house and all. And has that kind of been your project? Because obviously you've got, you've got a lot of time off stage, which we've already discussed. So there's time <laughs> to do those I don't run things. home and then do it. And then not put all that. I've built it. I come up. back on with a quick, kind of, quick bit of makeup. <laughs> no, it, it's been in, in between work. Yeah. I've done that. Nice, nice. Well, listen, it's getting very hot here by the fire, so I suggest we take a look around our opulent surroundings, yeah, Ian. Let's go. So, we're here in the Balmoral Hotel. Yeah, we are Not indeed. just a hotel, but a landmark, a national landmark for Scotland. Listen, it's been great staying here. I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> As if, please. Yeah, I do, I stay here. Oh, really? The theatre is just down the road and it is absolutely perfect. Could we maybe go to your room? No, it's, it's, there's something going on there at the moment. Oh, right, I'm sure. They're yeah. preparing, preparing. It's a, it's a goblin tease, mate. <laughs> Oh dear. So, this is probably one of the oldest hotels in uh, Scotland. Um, and Ian's career actually has spanned more than 50 <laughs> years, has it not, Ian? No, not 50 years. You, no, that would, no, no. No? F what I'm saying is five decades. Oh, five decades. That's, if, that's what we're saying now. 50 years, I would, have, I, would have been, I would have started when I was about that big. Well, I was going to say, that's, Which you I would have been doing, you would have, have worked for now. twice <laughs> my lifetime. Yeah, exactly. No, not that long. Five decades, because I, I, yeah, I did my first professional job in the in the seventies, so that was seventies, eighties, nineties, two thousands. Yes, perfect. So I think what we might do now is because of that history, this building seeped in history. Ian's Ian career is, is literally. seeped yeah. in history, <laughs> and now we're going to play a little game with a historical context. Oh. It's called "What's Between Your Years," not ears, years. Beautiful. So, our historical game, Ian. Is How this, much is this, the, is this the between the ears game? Or the this is between, between the, the years. years. Between no, the years. Not, not ears. Oh, years. Right. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Okay, so, what year was We Will Rock You set in? It was set in 10 years before 2311, so it would be 2301. Perfect. We were what you opened at the Dominion Theatre, but in what year? It is in its 10th year now, so I would imagine it opened in 2001. Eh, eh. 2000 and something. Do you want an A, B or C? 1998, 2000 or 2002? It would have to be 2002 then. Eh, eh. Oh yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> yeah, next year will be its 10th year at there the Dominion Theatre. There you go. The original release of Bohemian Rhapsody was number one for nine weeks, but in what year, Ian? 1977. Wrong. All right. Try again. Eight, five, six, four. <laughs> five. Five. 1975. Oh. I'm telling Brian, by the way. What year did you debut as Tricky Dicky in EastEnders? What year? Yeah. 1992. For an extra point, do you know a day or a month? The sun was out, it was beautiful, uh, the birds were chirruping, it would have been something like August. Ooh. September. No, earlier, earlier. July. July, obviously. 23rd of July. So, the 23rd Ian, of July. 23rd of July, 1992. Wow. So, that's, that was uh, 10 years ago, in July. It was... Oh no, it was not. Oh, let's let's stay off the math. math. Stay off the math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, as I said uh, earlier, Ian was in uh, Coronation Street and EastEnders. You're the only actor, apart from Michelle Collins. The only male one, though. Okay, the only male actor who has debuted in both major soaps. In a major role. Oh, in a major role as well. Okay, yeah. so. Um, what year did you then go into Coronation Street? 2006. Wrong. Five? Five, yes. 
Do you know a day and a year? Uh, op- what day did I start for my three-day contract, which was my original contract in Coronation Street? Oh, really? Yes, it was for three what, days. And then they loved you so much, they said, come back in. You got it. You. you got it. Um, <laughs> it was probably October. Later. It, more winter. You're right, December, November. December, 2nd of um, December. Yeah. Um, they act- tend to blur into oh, one Well, I'm sure. I mean, date. five decades of, of uh, theatrical employment. Listen, and thir- listen, 32 years, not a sequin dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as. So, how old are you exactly, Ian? What is your date? Do you then? want my uh, CV age, my Wikipedia age, my <laughs> playing age? my real age or the one I'm prepared to own up to. Let's go, let's try for your real age and see right. what we get. I am 37 if you don't count the weekends. <laughs> now you do the maths on that one. Hang on, I'm gonna... This may take some time. Oh God, I think it's it a may. simple You may want to just talk to the camera for a second while uh, I try It's a simple this. one. I am, that is a true fact. I am 37 if you don't count the weekends. 52 weeks. No, no. One, you're 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Nearly. 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 Correct. <laughs> so, um, well, that's the game of, that's the end of our fantastic year game. Thank you. It was, it was, Thank you. It was Thank enlightening. You. Good. Yeah. Glad. It's been enlightening for me. It was marvellous. Um, so, are you going to be sad to finish with your hot cue? Uh, you can't afford. I can't afford to be sad. Why can't you? You're because gonna, you're not you have to. With me, that will make you sad. Because I have got to keep going forward. That's the one thing I've learned in Surely all these you're, years. You're coming to a slow halt now, no? <laughs> it, I tell you what. It will be difficult to follow it up with something that gives you so much back. I mean, yeah, you how yeah. can you reproduce that audience yeah, reaction? Which, which is the reason I did it in the first place, was to, when I saw it, I thought, what's it like on the other side of this when you're on the stage and there's that much coming at you, so. I mean, have you ever had an audience reaction no, like that? No, no one, show? no one will have. No, I, no, I, no. You, I don't know a show that has, that has garnered that much kind of tension and acclaim. So the next thing I do, it will have, it will be quieter. That is for sure. <laughs> a lot quieter show. I think it'll be something. I want to do something moody and very still. And oh yeah. With no singing in it. Now. In fact, I'm getting into it now. And snap. Oh, beautiful. That is an actor, ladies and gentlemen. An actor. That is a max factor. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Ian, uh, you, for joining us today at this beautiful opulent surrounding of Balmoral Hotel. Um, and uh, I think we just have, actually, we have time for one more Words of Wisdom with Earl Carpenter. Hi, my name's Earl Carpenter, West End veteran. Tom Foolery during a performance. Not on my watch. Earl Carpenter to the stage, Earl Carpenter to the stage.